G'day everyone, my name's Cautious Pancake, and welcome back to Infinity Horde. Just coming up on dawn on day three. We spent the night running around a little bit outside where we could, doing a bit of work to the base. Just added this very basic ramp and push drop. That will allow us to take on any wandering zombies like these and any wandering hordes that might spawn, just so that we've got a little somewhere to defend ourselves. It's not the horde base that I'm going to use for day five, but it will allow us at least to fight off random zombies in the meantime. Overnight, I took the suggestion from the comments from the last video and went around and harvested a whole bunch of cotton to get a little bit more cloth. As a result, I've now got the extra legs and chest to wear. Apart from that, we've just been doing a bit of cooking making some red tea, making some baked potatoes. They're already gone. I've got a little bit of hunger and a little bit of thirst, so we might just grab the last soup that we have left. And we've got one can of pasta, and I might just take a couple of red teas with us. So since we declined the uh, third buried supplies quest in a row, we don't have anything to do, any quests to do at least, until 6 a.m., but we still need a whole bunch of plastic for the dew collector. So what we might do is just kick off a little bit of another scavenging run. It's worth also mentioning that overnight I did manage to get a couple of deer as well. So we've got a bunch of extra meat. So if we can find a few kitchens, get a few cooking books, that will help with the quest to get bacon and eggs, which is one of the best sort of early game foods. Need feathers. We are in a backyard. There's no dogs here, are there? And we've just got level up. So before we get too further along, I am considering a point in lock picking. That'll help, obviously, with our lock picking, but also with the magazine drops for forge materials. The other thing we need to think about is getting that last point in deep cuts, which might be the first thing that I do rather than messing around. And then we also need to start thinking about our Miner 69er and Mother Load, because we are going to need plenty of tools. There's a lot of digging for resources in my future, and that is an excellent find. A pistol and a lockpick. Given that we want pistols, that is going to come in real handy. Ooh, tier 3 pipe shotgun. I'll keep that one to sell. Before I go looting everything, maybe we'll just do a quick clear and go from there. Wake up everybody. Anybody home? Sure is. Sure is. Ouch. Too many people home. People somewhere. Upstairs, there we go. And Jen's open for business. Since we've done a bunch of this one, we might just finish it off. Hey, what feeling between level two knives and level three knives is huge. Everybody's out there, so time to loot. Thank you. 
but that was a pretty damn good haul. So I'm converting my cotton over to cloth, but I got a tools. I can now make stone quality too. A couple of cooking, some handy land. I've got my bacon and eggs now, awesome. Butter up hook, which don't really care much for. A couple of things to sell. Got some lucky goggles, which will help if we do get any more buried treasures. Wear them now, because I don't have anything better to wear. A few bits of other food are forge ahead, which will help us get towards getting the workbench and the forge. Some extra lockpicks and another structural brace, which we will put in the book, I think. Sham chowder, in case we get hungry. Got a wheel as well, so that'll come in handy for bikes and mini bikes and motorcycles down the track. That's it for now. There was someone hanging around. Don't know quite where they are. There they are. It's now also quite late. It's quite a big effort to get rid of, so we might just go back, grab a quest off Jen, and then go back and dump our stuff. Maybe make some bacon and eggs if we're still hungry, and go from there. You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? Maybe a couple of nipples here and there. Alright, what have we got for jobs? No more buried supplies, which is lovely. We've got a nice close fetch. Got a few fetches today that we can do. Can't remember how close we are to unlocking tier 2, but we'll start with those, I think, since that's nice and close. We're always looking for some ad Thanks, son. I knew you wouldn't let me down. You can also sell off the wire tool, because we've got another one back at base, and those cowboy boots. Just so there's a bit less to be carrying. And I think we're good from there. We do want to make a wrench if possible. It's the other thing that we're working towards. As are the pocket mods. For the wrench we need some forged iron. So I don't know if there's any for sale. And for the bacon and eggs we're going to need a cooking grill. And since I haven't found one so far. I may buy that. Probably okay for food for a little while. Especially since we've got those sham charter so I'll hold off and see if we get lucky at one of the other POIs you also need to remember restock day is tomorrow so what we might do is grab those forger head books before they disappear so let's go with that for now head back into a bit of a gear dump and then we'll head off for a fetch And we have unlocked the forge. So while we're here, do we have everything we need to make it? Maybe not, but we should be able to get close. I think we've got pretty much everything. Maybe the duct tape, but I've been making a little bit of glue. So as long as we've got the cloth, we'll be okay. So plastic and cloth is still high on our loot agenda. I'll keep the lockpicks with me. I will get rid of the murky water for now. And how much health does this give us? Food, 53. So probably keep that just for a little bit longer, but we'll be using that shortly. Switched over from the pipe shotgun to the pistol, so we've got a bit more ammo. And use the upgraded knife that we've now got. So let's head over to the fetch quest and get cracking. Okay, fetch underway. 10 meters away, it's on an upper floor. So we can't just skip it all. There are stairs on the outside thing. Don't really need that seed, I just grab out of habit. Let's see if we can sneak up. Well, not so much sneak. here and is this cloth no not easy cloth <laughs> and another pistol sneak up on the second level see if we can grab the oh is that the satchel fantastic there might be other people here yes there is and some books 
which is a nice guy, but it's lovely. Grab that. Double check filing cabinets for anything else. But otherwise, I think we can just bail. That was a super quick fetch. Check the cars for anything good, but otherwise, we're just going to head straight back to Jens and go from there. I knew you had it in you. Good work. Repair kits are useful, I guess. Ammo is always useful, even though it's not going to be our primary ammo. I guess let's take a full mod. Let's take the mod. And there's our bike. Two water filters would be nice, save us a bit of money, but the bike's going to get us around so much faster. So that's an obvious yes for me. And we've got to level up. We always need someone to handle the tough jobs. So we'll go from Trader Gen to Trader Gen. That'll be useful to allow us to skip out the tier ones again. We should be able to continue oh, from where we are. this is a dangerous one. Try not to, um, get radiated. At least when we're ready to move on. We're not going to move on just yet. Let's start looking at... We can't do the tier twos until tomorrow, so... Let's continue with the fetch quest. I've got just the job for someone with your talents. Okay, be careful and try not to get yourself killed. We can't put the foregrip in a pistol. I'm an idiot. Oh well. We'll put it in something we need to sell later. Let's just head back quickly, do another gear dump, and then we'll head off on the next quest. We're hungry now, so we might just eat that sham chowder. One less thing to be carrying around, and it means that we should be not needing to worry about food and water for a little bit. Alright, so this one, we are a long way away. It is on our level though. From memory, dirty laundry is one that you've got to drop into. See, once again with the drop-ins. Alright, let's do it. I don't think we work anymore. Is gonna let me shoot through it? since we still need all the cloth. This actually might be a pretty good spot for us to pick up. Oop, there's a bump. Someone's still around. Be on the other side of that wall, to be fair. Let's see if we can break them up. Yes, they're there. our thing right there. Beauty. Did we not get that? I cut the washing machine and not the satchel. Whoops. Special. But here though, I don't think there's a lot more to this one. There's definitely a few in the main room if memory serves, but given that we need cloth, I'm going to finish this one off because there should be lots of clothes that we can scrap. Stealth still pays off a little bit. But an actual someone, yes. Anybody else to be woken up? Doesn't look like it. Alright, loot time.
Okay, we've finished the loot. We've got 250 cloth, a little bit of soup, which we don't need just yet. We've got some BDU bottoms. I've scrapped most of the clothes that we didn't really need already. I'm going to keep the college jacket and sell that. We've got a couple of scrap helmets to sell. I'll keep the corn seed. Don't need the press boy cap. We can scrap that as well. We've got a whole bunch of sewing kits, which is going to come in very handy for our double pocket mods once we can make some of those. We've got some ski goggles for agility. And we've got another pair of lucky goggles, which aren't as good as our current ones. Now, since the loot bonus is only plus three, I don't think I'll wear them. I think I'll wear the agility ones most of the time. And we'll keep the lucky goggles maybe in the bike. Just for if we do do another buried treasure or a treasure map at some point. And we can also now make leather dusters. So I'm going to read that one. Which wouldn't be too bad. Let's see if we can't. We don't have the leather, but we do have the sewn kit, so we might make one of them in a little bit, unless we find one fairly shortly. It's also a skull cap mod, which uh, I don't think we can put in the padded helm because we've already got the helmet light. A couple of handy land books, spears, baseball bats. We don't care about those. Otherwise, pretty nice haul. Let's head back to Jen and sell some stuff off. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Did I take maybe just the pocket mod for now? I don't think we need the water went on die straights for that, unless we need a lot of duct tape, which I know we will at some point, but I think we're okay. We're just going to take the pocket mod. And we'll take I the next closest fetch. someone who's willing to get their hands dirty. We'll get dirty at the pop and peels. Fantastic! I hope to see you soon. Given that it's going to give us meds, I hope it's not too unclean. Alright, let's do the pop and peels, shall we? Are they coming from the roof or are they just spawning everywhere? don't feel like this is one to stealth. I think we'll just wake everybody up and bring them out the front. Where are you? Oh, they are falling off the roof. <laughs> just outside. Oh. Wait, dodge around the shopping trolley, shall we? Nice, you're all dead. Oh, exaggerated spinfall. See if there's anybody else to wake up. Yep. early for reds, isn't it? We'll see whether there's time for another one. If we hustle through, because we do want to loot all of this, just because there could be a lot of useful meds. Okay, another pretty solid loot wise. Got the spear, hunter book, more damage with spears, some wiring, medical journals. We can do first aid bandages now, okay, that's good to know. We got a lucky looter book. Get more money. More money is always good. This book, got a bunch of steroids, a few other bits and pieces. We've got some fort bites, a whole bunch of sewing kits, for plaster casts. Another splint, so some of this stuff we're just going to put into the bike so that we've always got a splint and a plaster cast around. As long as we can get back to the bike, we'll be okay. We've got a surplus of first aid bandages, 
and first aid kits. I might swap them out now. Just carry the kits with us. A little bit overkill, but better than nothing. Can we... No, don't have enough room in them, so we'll put that in the pistol. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. Let's head back to Jen before she closes. Hand this one in. We won't have time for another. Oh, we never grabbed... Didn't grab the satchel. Once again, didn't get the important thing. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. Here's your pay for a job well done. More molotovs. Duct tape, that's not too bad. Cobblestone's not too bad. Knock down on the archery, that's not great. What do we want? Duct tape or cobblestone? I'm gonna take I'm going to be doing a lot of building later, so I think I'll take the cobblestone. I'm not going to take a job, because we want to do a tier 2 in the morning. So, is there anything we want to want to buy? It is restock day. We've got another level up, we've got 2 points to spend. Any of these that we desperately need. Tool crafting, doesn't go astray. Let's grab those two. Just to let you folks know, the Trader Joe's is closed. About to get booted out. So the pressure's on. Nothing I think that we desperately need. I'm going to take the grill. Since we didn't find one. Alrighty then. Stay safe out there. Let's head on over. And we'll spend the evening getting things sorted. We'll try and build a forge. We'll... Clean up our inventory, see if we can craft any more armor, a whole bunch of other bits and pieces. Okay, coming up to dawn on day four. What have we been up to overnight? Well, first up, we made a forge. With the forge, we made a bunch of forged iron. With that, we made a wrench. And I've obviously been downstairs taking care of that yellow SUV that was parked underneath. I've also finished off making some padded gloves and some boots. So we don't need the cowboy boots anymore. Put that in our syllables box. And that's most of the stuff that we've been up to. Got a bit of forged steel as well, which doesn't hurt. And I'm going to put the radiator straight into the forge because we want that to give us our maximum amount of brass, which we're going to need because we're going to need lots of ammo. I'm not rushing off just yet. Jen won't be open for a couple of hours, and as a result, we don't need to... Oh, wait. <laughs> Jew Collector. I also finished the Jew Collector. No water just yet, but that's now up and running. So while we're waiting for Jen, we might just take our newly minted wrench and use it on anything and everything nearby. <laughs> We're going to need the mats, we're going to need the gas, we're going to need the mechanical parts. Those are going to come in handy for our pocket mods. And that might be the other thing that we need to check, is whether or not we can make some pocket mods. So let's just quickly do this, and we'll go from there. So the things in nearby gettable range, before we run off, Let's just double check now if we can make double pocket mods. I thought we'd unlock those. Maybe it's the clothing double pocket mod we unlocked. Right, pay attention. Here we go. While they're crafting, we'll put everything else away. Put our cloth back. We're now out of cloth again. That's okay though. We've got our bacon and eggs as well. They're all cooked up. Take one of them with us, and let's take two red teas. We can drink one now, and we'll keep one for later. Put that acid away. Yeah, good to head over. Wait for Jen to open up, and we should be able to get our first tier two quest. What are you buying today? Tier two quest, please. We've got fetch clear. A couple of fetch clears, both nearby. 
third fetch clear and just to fetch all nice and close that's all the tier two houses that are around here so as long as there's not one for the passing guests i've got a bit of a problem can you help me out let's start with a fetch clear oh thank goodness i couldn't find anyone to do that job but before we head off one thing we need to do is check our points so so I'm going to take one in light armor just because we're fully kitted out now. I'd also like some stealth perks, but they might have to be next. I'm going to take minus 69 and next. Then I'm going to think about salvage. And then back to maybe some of the stealth perks. Just to help with the POI clears. Anyway. Let's go see how this fetch clear goes for our first tier 2. Okay, just before we get the show on the road, let's have a look at what we finished crafting up. The clothing pocket mods. Let's add that there. And add that there. There we go. That'll add us some extra encumbrance, which should help nicely. Oh, where'd you come from? Apparently, in the secret compartment for jumping on visitors. Who has that? Seriously. Who installs that or is that a window? It's a window. And as I'm gazing at the architecture, darling sneaks up behind me. Thanks for that. Where's the entrance? Torch. Torch shines the way. for the little bit of extra iron that it gives you and here we go where are you coming from? Leave most of the looting to the end. Let's see who else we can find. Yeah, okay, upstairs or downstairs? Let's go downstairs first. Sounds like we wake up everybody. Sounds like we wake up everybody upstairs. We sure did. Quite sure how that works. This knife is working a treat. Wow. Through the door. Really? Here to go. Hey, hey, hey. Still not done. When all this fails, go through the door. I got down here and I'm still I'm totally full I can't go ahead with the looting so let's just have a quick look at what we've got so far we've got a forge book a couple of medical books a couple of armored up books we can make slightly better quality cloth armor now we can also make a two times scope which will come in handy also got of course we got a wrench so we've now got a spare wrench which is great 
got a pipe machine gun. We'll probably end up selling that, but it won't go astray for Horde Knight. We also got an upgraded pistol, which is awesome. Bunch of other bits and pieces, a couple of cooking mags that we can also get rid of. Getting a bit hungry, so we're going to eat our bacon and eggs and have a drink. And we also got a better padded hood. So I'll switch that out now so that we can get rid of the old one. Again, just making up a bit of space. Also got this lovely anvil. So that's one thing less that we're going to have to get. And don't need that either. All right. Let's keep going with the looting. And we might also grab this one with the wrench. See if we can get some forged iron out of it. One less thing that we have to make later. Ooh, and there is our first supply drop. Default settings, so that will get marked. We grab the satchel. So we'll head out and find out where that is shortly once we've finished all the looting. Okay, so down to the bunker. Got some better boots. We definitely want those. Some banded armor plating mods. We're not hungry enough for the pie, so we'll keep that. We'll take the shotgun ammo, we'll take the urban combat to sell. Goodbye, cornmeal. Got a couple of crates here as well, and then we've got a gun safe as well as a wall safe upstairs that we have to see if we can break into. I don't think I've got. I know I do have a point. So since I've got a point available, I'm going to go into lock picking. That's going to help. Hopefully with our lockpick attempts, but also with the advanced engineering books that we need. So I'm also going to just read these as they come, since we don't have a lot of space left. And look, I think I'm just going to have to eat that. Now let's get rid of some paper. Big goggles, that's worth a bit. We definitely need to keep that to sell. Bye bye, rotting flesh. And anything in here worth looting? Nope. Let's try our luck at the gun safe. Come on. I've got a few more lockpicks back in the bike, but don't make me use them. Yeah. Okay, give me something good. Pipe shotgun. Not exactly what I was after. It's worth a little bit, so we can sell that. I'm going to go and drop some stuff off. We'll read the knife guy. And use no stamina while sneak sprinting. That I will take. Thank you very much. I'm going to run back, dump a few things in the bike, and then come back for these and grab my extra lockpicks while we're there, since we're going to need to do the wall safe next. Okay, I've grabbed everything from downstairs. Now it's time to try the wall safe. Let's see how we go on this one. Oh yeah, first go, I'll take that. And it's a water purifier mod. That's fantastic, I can drink whatever I want now. At least if I put it in here, which I don't have room for. So I can't quite drink whatever I want just yet, but once I get a, a helmet with enough free slots, then that's something I can do. To be honest, I don't, really use it that much. Most of the time, if you're running around with red tea or something like that, that's actually better. So I'll see how it goes. See if we end up using it or not. All right, back to Jens. Good job. I knew you could do it. Okay, what have we got? Iron Fire Axe looks like the pick of the bunch so far. Unless we want the leather chest. Probably use the Fire Axe more than anything else especially with the wood that we're going to need. So I may regret it if I get smooshed by a zombie, but for now I'm going to take the Iron Fire Axe. It's a tier two fetch that is nice and close. I'm going to take that one because we're running out a little bit of time. I need some Thanks, son. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let's see if we can smash that one out real quick. We'll do a quick loot drop. And then if we can get that one done, we might have time for one more after that. Okay, so for this one, it's just a fetch. 
Let's see if we can get in there and get it done real quick. How far away is the satchel? How far away is the satchel? It's the million dollar question. Since I want to be super quick, I'm going to be extremely rude. And see if we can just sneak straight in and grab it. That is about as quick as they're going to be. I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to do them. But since we want to sneak in another one, let's do that. Head back and see Jen. Claim our reward and get a fetch clear or something like that. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. Okay, the shovel will be handy. The forged steel will be handy. And take the shovel because I'm one of those people that always likes to loot and grab everything that we can. And that'll just make it a whole bunch faster. Fetch clear. I've got just the job for someone with your talents. My power, that's good. It's not the passing guess. Let's take that one. If you finish two more jobs this week, I will give you employee of the month. Let's see if we can knock that out. Okay, this isn't the little Mose electronics that I was expecting, but let's see how we go. That doesn't look like it's the way in. Oh, maybe it is the way in. Bins of goodness, kind of. All right, who's going to be coming at me? Is that a cop? It was a cop. Oh, good. Not loaded. Whoa, that was not a good play. Someone forgot to reload the gun after switching over the pistols. Just add a bandage back. Now, we want to sneaky sneaky from here. I can now sneak sprint without using up stamina, which is fantastic. Someone's in here. Take that, non-stealth kill. There's the satchel so I don't forget. Is this the one with the big hidden area at the back somewhere that I hate? I always get lost in this one, I think. Is it the section out the back that they all jump out of the boxes? One or the other. See if we can clean out the zombies. One over this way. Don't forget that box up the top. Here you are. Let's see if I can grab that one just now before I forget. I had some good books. Right. Surely there's someone in here. Yep. Bending machine. What have we got? What clusters we're gonna need? For later. Don't need that. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the food. We're coping okay on the food for now. And I'm going to take the awesome sauce. I'd love to not buy it though. Let's just hold off on that one maybe. Just because it's most of our money. I'm not sure that's the best use of it just now. Wake somebody up, but I'm not sure where from. Now it's time to head around. See if we can find. Of course, the storm's made it really, really dark now, which is fantastic. And yes, this is the one where they all jump out of the boxes as we go through this area.
Doing all right. Down to the end room. Wakey, wakey. Giddy up. I think we're done. Let's loot it up. What do we get? So we got a triple armor and pocket mod, which is bloody brilliant. Got a bipod mod, lots of books with a tech planet, tech junkie, 10 electrical trap books, a vehicle book, which we've just unlocked bicycles, <laughs> so we can now have a bike, yay! 14 wiring books. Not a bad start there. I've already got that one. We've got a medical journal. Happy kidders. Shotgun. So let's put the. We have room for it anywhere. Triple pocket mod. Lovely. And that'll probably do us for now. So let's head head back to Jen. And then with a little bit of time left, we might see if we can sneak out and get that supply drop. Here's your pay for a job well done. Moon crossbow, iron pickaxe. Both very tempting. I might have to go in this case for the crossbow just because we, sh we can probably make the pickaxe sooner and more easily. Yeah, I don't need blackstrap coffee. Armor's okay. I'm taking the crossbow. We'll take the fetch clear. I've got a bunch of stuff to do tonight that I don't really want to go that far away for a nighttime quest. I need someone so we'll take who's the fetch clear to... for the morning. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not and to, um... with the hour and a bit that we've got left, let's see if we can find that supply drop. Get on your bike, son. And get out there and get it. The uneventful trip out here. Stone shovel, what I've always wanted. But we did get a crafty magazine bundle, so that's okay. And some antibiotics, which will come in handy, no doubt, at some point. Then there, we've got a couple of knife guys. A couple. Oh, bone knife tier four, so we should upgrade that. A couple of forge mags. And a couple of armor. So we can make tier three, so we can also upgrade some of our other cloth armor pieces. Right, well, there's night time. Here's our semi-base thing. I don't know if I'd call it a base, but it's our home away from home for now. Well, that's day four complete and an excellent spot to pause for tonight while I pack things away and craft up things ready for day five. Day five is going to prove to be an exciting one, I'm sure. It'll be the first of our horde nights. We need to get cracking on a proper base, get that done, see if we can fill in a quest and make sure that we survive the night. So I hope you found this video entertaining. Please leave a like if you have and consider subscribing if you want to keep tabs on the rest of the series. Thanks to my awesome Patreons for their support. A thanks to you all for watching and as always, happy building.